Hi everyone. I tried to create meta human of my own sculpt. I sculpted this some time ago in Nomad on my iPad. It was an attempt to explore the entire process and I was also very excited to see my sculpt becoming real. If you don't know meta human, it's a very powerful tool created for Unreal Engine. It's a gaming engine. It's mainly to export your bust mesh and making it look very close to real. So the AI generates a meta human face very close to your sculpt or the mesh that you've added and it adds uh, high definition textures, eyes, hair, even body. This I think mainly designed so you can bring your meta human in Unreal Engine to create AAA games. So we will explore this feature of meta human and see what it can do for us. Spoiler alert. While you can achieve some level of likeness in meta human, the results won't resemble the original person so much. And I think it's done with intention to avoid potential problems of privacy, identity theft, licensing, etc. So you have a limited controls and freedom to play around with the MetaHuman. It's very difficult to achieve likeness in MetaHuman. But with some effort, you can get close enough. So, so keep your expectations real and not very high, okay? Now, in order to achieve Nomad Sculpt to MetaHuman, you will need to do a few things. You will need to download Epic Games Installer so that you can install Unreal Engine in your computer. Epic Games uh, Installer is available for both Windows and Mac, and it's free. Okay, so before you download Epic Games Installer, it will ask you to create an account in the Epic Games. So go ahead and create an account and once you do that the installer will be downloaded in your computer so the first link in the description will take you to the epic games installer file so we are doing this whole thing in two parts so the meta human itself has two parts one is the cloud-based app which you can access via the quixel bridge so you will need to make sure that you've logged into the website called quixel bridge um, the second link in the description will take you to the quixel bridge you can sign in via your Epic account, which you've just created. It creates an essential bridging between export and import from Unreal Engine to MetaHuman iCloud app within the Quixel bridge. So as I said, there are two components of MetaHuman. One is the Quixel bridge iCloud app, and another is the MetaHuman plugin itself within the Unreal Engine. It will make more sense as we do Okay, so we've sorted Unreal Engine, we have sorted um, Quixel Bridge, and the third is obviously you need a face mesh. So you can either create this Nomad Sculpt or any 3D software. You will need to unwrap UVs of your face mesh, and you can either do this in the Nomad Sculpt itself or any other 3D software like ZBrush, Maya, or free Blender version. To begin, we have to prepare our mesh. Do you see here? This is the sculpt I'm preparing uh, for MetaHuman, and these are done different parts the hair the t-shirt and the different components so we'll have to get rid of all of them so we'll start with with hair so we'll delete the hair we'll delete the t-shirt okay um and i guess we'll have to also get rid of eyelashes because all those things which we're deleting meta human is going to take care of it so all we need is just the head sculpt we will need indication of eyes so we'll have to leave eyes but because eyes are made separately in this sculpt i'll have to merge them and i'll have to voxelate it so basically we just want one mesh and that should have uh, eyes and, and face and a little bit of neck portion so at the moment we have sculpt here which is 2.8 mil so that's definitely very high and we'll have to reduce the file size so what we'll do is we go to oh just before that i can show the mesh so it's really dense and we will also see this mesh after we um, decimate over mesh and make it lighter so go to this option go to the last one and then you have this decimation here um, so the preserve painting doesn't really matter because our sculpt is not painted so it doesn't matter what you do now you can maybe keep it zero and then we'll start with decimation we'll keep the value 50% and then we will decimate so at the moment we have our quads 2.8 mil right we'll see what happens once it decimates so we decimate uh, this is the first time okay so now we have triangles and it's still 2.8 mil so we'll do one thing we'll reduce sorry we'll increase this to say 60 percent and we will decimate it okay so we have 2.8 mil decimate now it goes half um, a little bit less than half so now we have 1.25 mil it's still higher 
uh, we still have a good quality um, sculpt here so we can actually afford to go a little bit lesser so we'll just submit it one more time and now we have gone to 750k and the sculpt is still okay so we can still afford to go one more time decimation so let's do that and now we have 450k so this looks good it's definitely lighter we have gone from 2.2.1 mil or something to 450k now we'll see one more time uh, we'll just submit one more time and see what happens if the quality reduces then obviously we'll keep it 450k okay so we've gone one more time and now it's 270k this is incredible right so our scalp was 2.1 mil and now it's gone to 70k so let's do one more time and see what happens okay 162k and it's still looking good so i think we'll we'll keep it um this much 162k and now we'll export this and bring it to zbrush but if you're choosing to unwrap uv in nomad itself you can click this option unwrap atlas and once you do that it'll, it'll automatically unwrap uv for you so remember it says here as well if it is over 100k then it'll be really slow so at the moment we have 162k so it'll take a lot of time to unwrap UV. So if you're doing it Nomad itself, maybe um, try and decimate it one more time. We are losing quality a little bit there. Maybe you're not able to see it, um, but we probably can live with this. So now it's under 100K and we kind of okay to unwrap it in Nomad. So let's do this. So I've hit unwrap um, UV and I'm not sure how much time will it take. So I'll pause here and restart once it's done. Oh. It's already done. All right, so once it has successfully unwrapped UE, you will see something like this. So let's do one thing. Instead of doing it in ZBrush, let's see if we can straight away bring this in Unreal, okay? So we will export this in OBG format and we'll bring this in Unreal. Okay, so we had installed Epic Games Installer. Now we are going to install Unreal Engine within it so you open up big installer go to library on plus where it says engine version install version 5 once you have installed it launch and it'll take a while but then you'll be welcome with this window which means now you are in unreal engine editor and for this we will go to film videos and go for blank project rename your project uncheck starter content that will load your project quicker and rename your file and create you'll be into the unreal engine editor so first thing we'll do is we will activate the meta human plugin so you do that by going to edit going to plugin you will come across this window um type in meta human in the search bar uh, you will come across this plugin which says meta human there and you'll get this pop-up screen saying that it's experimental version blah blah but hit okay and it'll prompt you to restart your editor so it'll take a while again but it will open and then now we have unreal engine editor ready to go with the plugin installed okay so now we will import our mesh boat and browse to your folder and click on your obj file and the Unreal Engine editor will try and import your file. You'll welcome with this window. And what I've done here is I've uh, increased the size of the sculpt 20 times because I tried before and the sculpt was looking too small. So I've done that. You might have to do some adjustments there. I've also rotated on X axis for 90 degrees um, because it was not, it was 90 degrees tilted other way, other side. So I had to do that. You might have to do some adjustments. So it's a bit of trial and error. And finally, you have it imported and you double click on it just to view your sculpt. So this is mine. It looks okay now, size wise and everything. So you would notice that it this opens on another window and you, there's a way to kind of tuck it in within the main window. So you minimize it and um, you can just drag and drop just next to your main tab. Okay, you probably notice that there is a material, there's a big spear there, which is basically a default material. If you already have a texture file, you can actually plug in here. So what you do next is right click on the, your folder 
and while the windows open search for meta so maybe just type meta and then you'll come across this meta human identity click that rename it um, however you want and double click to open it okay, so once the window new window opens you can it might prompt you to again log in use your epic games login and on the top you would see some gray tabs so basically um those are the steps which we'll have to go through and as you move on they will get activated so we'll start with adding components from mesh so you click on the components uh, from mesh and it'll show up your mesh so click that and now you have it here and on the left side you would see some more options popping up so what you do is you will have to add body so if we go to body um select whatever size suits you so yeah you'll have to choose body because otherwise you will not let you progress so choose your body and then go to neutral pose as you see once you've hit there the next tab is activated which is promote your frame so below you would see plus and minus signs so you can promote the frame um using that or you can even hit promote frame so adjust your sculpt um, you can use your left mouse key right mouse key you can also use your alt the controls are very much similar to maya um, you can even use your middle mouse to pan so you'll you'll figure out once you play around a little bit um, but yeah alt once you hit alt key you'll be able and with the left mouse key those are the two key controls okay so the next would be track active frame so once you hit the track frame you would see those green dots appearing on few important landmarks of your sculpt eyes and and crease of your cheeks uh, and and lips so you can go ahead and make some adjustments so i'm doing some minor adjustments here because i see that some dots are a bit off um so basically this is all the control you have here on the right side you see there are some more landmarks um, you can experiment with them um, I haven't explored that too much but maybe you can give a go and then once you hit meta human identity solve it is sort of uh, those uh, lines and and the, the basic areas of deformations is kind of mapped everything now for you and the last would be to hit mesh to meta human once you do that try to to load your mesh from unreal engine to the you know meta human creator click that link in the description it'll take you to this website and if you scroll further down you get this option to launch the the icloud app it'll take a while to load up and once it loads up you would see that your model has been successfully imported here so if you followed all the steps properly or i hope everything works for you and then eventually you would see your model here so there we have my sculpt so this is the best it can do i guess i see my huge forehead there i think i've done a little bit of error in sculpting i probably didn't realize no math because my hair was covering my skull yeah it's definitely big so we'll have a little bit of trouble there we'll see how it goes so now if you zoom in and out you'll see that you will have your whole body there obviously on the left side you have different controls we'll start with skin change the color of skin you have uh, all the different controls which you can play around freckles and accents and textures and everything I'll try and make do some adjustments you have again some more controls here obviously you'll have to check each of these and make some adjustments and see where what resembles you and what you can do to just make it look a little bit more of of what you have in your mind yeah so feel free to experiment with um, these controls for custom mesh you can tweak um, some landmarks of your sculpt obviously under body you have tops and bottoms and shoes so you can use some accessories there you can even change colors what worth discussing is blend so you once you hit blend and if once your character is in edit mode you have some empty spaces where you can drag these predefined models and once you do that you will see that you have some controls activated on your sculpt mesh so yeah you can drag those on different directions and kind of uh, pick characters of uh, those uh, predefined models which you have it put in there around with them i'm trying to reduce and fix my skull here but obviously it's 
not fixable <laughs> anyway so we can try try that as well apart from blend there's also option of sculpt not exactly sculpting but then once you hit that you would see some points being activated on your mesh which again you can make some adjustments and I think it's in the end somewhat got a good resemblance especially eyes and and forehead and overall face shape and everything I'm not sure about lips though top down part of my face is, is not I'm trying very hard but I just couldn't fix it so these are on my lips but I don't know what we can do so yeah eventually this is what I've come up with and um, maybe if you spend some more time you can get more resemblance but we can live with this so yeah, I think this is sort of ready to be ported back in Unreal Engine and <laughs> you can use it sort of for gaming or whatever it was a very long tutorial um, there was there was so much to cover but I hope um, it was useful and I hope that you know it works for you but obviously as you know it required so many steps different things were involved here something may not work but and, and if that happens do let me know uh, we can troubleshoot together okay good luck this is art mellows i'll see you in the next video